everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Jacqueline and I make new videos every week a whole variety of things lifestyle beauty adventure all sorts of fun stuff and I upload every Monday Wednesday and Saturday and today I have something a little bit different for my channel I don't often do this but I have a palette review so before I jump into it I do want to let you know that uh influencer sent me this palette for free for reviewing purposes they're not sponsoring this they don't know I'm making it um, but I did get this product for free and I just wanted to be upfront with you guys about that. Um, if you guys don't know what Influencer is, it's a app or a website you can sign up for. Anyone can sign up for it and you just do reviews and take surveys and you get the chance to get free products sent to you. So this is something I got sent to me through them, but I want to share it with you because I thought it was a really interesting palette and the palette is the new Urban Decay Naked Wild West palette. So I believe this is limited edition and it's only at Sephora. So let me tell you a little bit about what this is. Um, I have a little card here from Influencer that they sent me and it says, blaze your own trail with the newest Naked palette featuring a 12 shade lineup of desert inspired neutrals from terracotta to deep copper and turquoise green. The shades are inspired by California's desert, Joshua trees and endless skies made with our signature super pigmented and velvety naked formula choose from creamy matte eyeshadows metallics and shimmers that blend seamlessly to create endless eye looks from mild to wild always cruelty free naked wild west is urban decay's first 100 percent vegan naked palette so i think that's really interesting right there that it's um their first vegan naked palette let me show you the colors so this is the colors in it they're really pretty. I'm sure there are swatches out there all over the place, so I'm not gonna do any swatches for you guys, but there are the colors. It is $49 at Sephora. Right now, while I'm filming this, and I believe wow, when this video comes out, it is only online. It goes into stores on the 28th of February. So just so you know, um, and again, like I said, it is, I believe, limited edition, but it is beautiful. So let me get into me doing this eyeshadow look. I did do two eyeshadow looks. I did one yesterday and I'm going to just insert footage of it. And then you actually see me applying this to my eyes and then I'll kind of give you a little review of it. So let's hop in to me doing my eyeshadow. Okay, so this is what the palette looks like. So I'm gonna try to use as many colors as I can. Um, I'll also insert a, footage, a clip right here of the look I did yesterday. So yesterday I used Nudie in the lid, or in the crease, and then I put a little bit of Ghost Town in the crease as well. Um, I put Rustler all over the lid and then hold them, hold them right in the center. So that's kind of what the look I did yesterday. Today I'm gonna try to do like a little bit different of a look, maybe use some of the greens and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna take the brush out of here because I probably won't use it that much. So let's start. I'm gonna take standoff. Sorry, I don't want to blind you with the mirror. Standoff here. This mirror is really nice by the way. I'm just gonna kind of set my whole lid with that and just kind of dust that everywhere just to get like a good base. It's a really good at least for my skin tone, it kind of just like matches my skin tone, so it kind of just sets a good base for me. Um, so I think I'm going to use, again, a nudie in the crease just to get that going. Um, yesterday it looked really nice. It's kind of like a perfect crease shape. Like I could definitely just do this and like some shimmer on the lid and call it a day. Um, it's a good crease shade. I do want to show you as I'm going, you kind of see, sorry, you can kind of see like on the palette, there's some um, like dust kicking up. Like it's definitely like kind of dusty. It doesn't seem to have any fallout from any of them. It's just kind of dusty. Um, so I'm going to take, uh, I'm going to take Whiskey or Ghost Town. I'm going to take Ghost Town first and kind of add that into the crease as well. Just kind of deepening it up a little bit. And 
Now with a little bit smaller of a brush, I'm gonna take Whiskey here and kind of deepen up the outer corner. I'm gonna take the same brush I used for Ghost Town, just kind of blend that a little bit. Just to make it a little bit more seamless. I'm gonna take just a little bit more Ghost Town and blend again. So the way they describe this palette is you can either do it, what do they say? Either mild to wild. So yesterday was kind of more a mild look. Today I'm gonna go for a little bit wilder of a look. That's kind of how they put it. And I could definitely see how you could do that with this palette. Like this is already a much deeper look than I did yesterday. So I think what I'm gonna do is with a flat shader brush, I'm gonna take, I don't know if I wanna take Bud or Cowboy Rick on the lid. Hmm, what do I want to do? I think I'm gonna do Bud all over the lid and maybe put some Cowboy Rick right in the middle. So I'm gonna take, again, that shader brush, just pick up. And then I'm gonna take that same brush I used for uh, Ghost Town and just blend that a little bit. Okay, then with an even smaller shader brush, I'm gonna take Cowboy Rick, kind of the silvery shimmer, and get that right in the center of my lid. Yeah. I'm also gonna take that on my inner corner. Usually I don't put this much shimmer on my inner corner, but I'm feeling it today. All right, and then for my lower lash line, I think I'm gonna take Ghost Town first, that kind of like brick red shade. And just go under this first with this. All right, then I'm gonna take a little bit of whiskey, just kind of like the outer half. And then I'm gonna take just a little bit of bud kind of towards the inner corner. So that green shimmer I put all over my lid. I'm just gonna kind of get it right there. All right, and then I think what I'm gonna do is with an angle brush, I'm gonna take some of Tex and um, kind of line my upper lash line. I'm not gonna wet it or anything though, I'm just gonna kind of smudge it against, oh yeah, that's cool. All right, so I think that's all I'm gonna do. I think it looks real cool though. I'm like, something different from what I would normally do. Um, 
but I think it's still like within my realm. I don't feel like uncomfortable wearing it. So let me pop on some mascara and some lipstick and I'll come back to tell you kind of my final thoughts on this palette. All right, now that you've kind of seen me do my eyeshadow, let's talk a little bit about it. First of all, it does kick up some dust. I don't know if you can see it on there, but like where I've dug in and kind of like on the sides, it is a little dusty, but I think that's most eyeshadows are that way and I can't really knock it for that. It didn't have any fallout though. You can see um, um, under my eyes and stuff, there's no fallout or anything. The colors were super pigmented. They worked really well. They were easy to blend. Um, there's definitely a bunch of different looks you could do from this. Um, it's mostly, I think, a warm palette. You definitely have a few cool tones like Pony Up here on the end and Laredo is kind of cool toned. And then you have some cool toned shimmers and stuff like the greens and then the, the Cowboy Rick is a little bit cool toned. But other than that, it's like a very warm toned palette. And honestly, if you take out the two greens, it's a very neutral tone palette. I think the greens are beautiful, but if you're not someone who's gonna use those turquoise greens, I don't know if you need this palette. It is a very beautiful, neutral palette and if you enjoy those pops of greens i think it might be worth it i haven't really seen any other palettes with those kind of pops of greens at least from what i have seen around maybe there are and i'm just wrong if there are please leave me a comment down below and tell me what they are maybe there's some good dupes for this i don't know but i really enjoyed using it and it's right up my alley and i definitely think that i could get a bunch of different looks out of this I tend to go for warm neutral looks most of the time and then every once in a while I want to do a punchier look like something I have on right now. Um, so I think it's perfect for that. There's definitely like I like I showed you with my first look it was definitely like an everyday easy look for me like that's something I would do on a regular basis. But then today like I used the turquoise and the you know, some of the other shades that I probably wouldn't reach for as often, but I do like it and I do like how it looks. Um, it does make my blue eyes kind of look a little bit green today. My eyes do shift depending on what I'm wearing and what is on my eyes, but I think it makes my eyes look really nice, which is also a plus. And I just think, I, I think it's a good palette. I don't know if it's worth $59. Um, and I also don't know, like I said, if you have other neutral palettes and you don't like the turquoise, if this is going to be for you, it is a, that is an expensive palette, in my opinion, for kind of a super neutral palette with a couple pops of green. I know for sure there are other neutral palettes out there with these kind of warm tones in there that are a lot cheaper. So it just depends on like how much you really like the whole thing. See what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, it is beautiful, it works really well. Obviously I'm enjoying it so far and I'll continue to use it, but I just don't know if you need it. You see what I'm saying? Like there's so many palettes out there nowadays that it's hard to find a new release at this price point that is like, yes, you need that palette, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm kind of on the fence with it. I think it's beautiful and I'm glad I have it. But I don't know if they hadn't sent it to me if I would have gone out and bought it on my own. So hopefully that helps. Like I said, it is beautiful. The packaging is really pretty too, by the way. I love kind of the snake thing. I wasn't sure if I would like it from like the pictures I saw. Um, but it is really pretty. Um, but it is thick. Like I don't know if this is the greatest travel palette if you're looking to save space. I don't think it would break because it's pretty hard and thick. But... I could see myself honestly traveling with this because there's just so much I could do with it. But yeah, like I said, I don't know if I didn't have it, if I would go out and buy it, but I do like it and I am enjoying it. I'm gonna continue to play with it and kind of see how else I feel. But this is kind of just like my first impression how I feel about it. So um, I'm sure I'll talk about it more on my channel, but it is really pretty and I like it. So there you go. Hopefully that helped with your kind of decision making if you're on the fence about this palette. Uh, if you have this palette, let me know if you love it, if you're thinking about getting it, anything like that, please leave me a comment down below. I love to hear from you guys um, and help me reach my 1,000 subscriber goal for the year by subscribing to our little adventure family here. We would love to have you. And 
yeah, I think that's it for this video. So I'll see you in my next adventure. Bye.